you think could happen if the world suddenly ended? Today I'll be talking about what global warming is, why it's dangerous for the planet, and what we can do to save the Earth from this crisis. So, what really is global warming? We hear it all the time, yet a lot of us don't actually know what it really is. Global warming is the gradual increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. Many things can cause global warming, carbon dioxide, methane, and even us. So now that we know what global warming is, why is it dangerous for the planet? Well, firstly, I'll explain how it works. Even a slight temperature rise is enough to cause a dramatic transformation of our planet. The carbon dioxide, methane, soot, and other pollutants we release into the atmosphere act like a blanket, trapping the sun's heat and causing the planet to warm. Clear evidence shows that 2000 to 2009 was hotter than any other decade in at least the past 1300 years. You tell me, is this right? Global warming can cause storms, heat waves, floods, and many other disasters. Scientists point to global warming as the biggest global health threat of the 21st century. It impacts all of us, especially children, the elderly, low-income communities. As temperatures increase, so does illness, emergency room visits, and death. You may be aware of a recent climate conference, COP26. It's one of the world's most important international conferences, the Conference of the Parties. This year, it's hosted by the UK in Glasgow. Representatives from across the world come together to negotiate the best ways of tackling climate change. The 26th COP was scheduled to take place last year, but was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Again, however, it fell short of expectations. People expected major commitments towards reducing pollution. These commitments did not happen. Some very important world leaders did not even attend this conference. But now, as always, the focus will be on whether the commitments given will actually be followed through. There are countless reports from all over the world that the world's ecosystem is heading towards a major disaster. But the commitments given don't match this. For example, island communities are beginning to flood as the levels of oceans rise. Well, how can we help then? You can reduce your plastic usage. For example, switching to a bamboo toothbrush. Sort your recycling, use some secondhand clothing, wash clothes at low temperatures. Even just spreading the message can help. To conclude, I asked you at the start what you could think could happen if the world ended. The answer is nothing. With no world, there will be no life. So I ask you, next time think before throwing away your plastic water bottle rather than reusing it. We all must work together to save our planet before it's too late.